straight, hold it down. There you go. Straight, hold it down. All right, when you're done with that, it should look like a book. So you read left to right, all right? So on page number one, you're gonna write down my why. I don't care how you do it. You can do it in bubble letters. You can do little flowers around it. You can put basketballs around it, whatever you want. But on page number one, you're gonna write my why. Write a big, write a small, it doesn't matter. This is your paper, make it yours, okay? Go to Instagram, Drewski, read the bio. I'm only 26 years old. When I first started, I, when I first thought I discovered my why, I was about 19 or 20. And I thought I had life figured out. But in actuality, throughout my experiences, I saw that I had a bigger call to life. My why is to improve the people and places I interact with better than when I first met them. And when I think about that, as a college admission counselor, I step into high schools every day. I step in with students every day. I meet students just like this every day. And if I'm impacting your life, I feel fulfilled. I feel like my why is being fulfilled every day. And that does not come in the form of a check. That feeling of fulfillment. And that is what I hope each one of you soon discover once you get out of here at Crystal Ray. Okay? So, page number two. Why I go to school. Okay? Now, these three things on the board, you can write it or you can keep it in your head or take pictures, whatever. These three things on the board has been what I've used during my time learning from different groups. The BU aspect stays authentic with me. Um, I've always been myself in every situation that I go into, but I had to learn how to be comfortable with who I am as a person. The second one was ask questions and being authentic with my questions. Asking to learn, not asking just to hear somebody chat. I want to learn. And third one was learn what you like and what you don't like. And what's so important about that as well is if you learn what you like, then you know how much more time you have to give to that. If you learn what you don't like, then you also know you don't have to give time to that and you could spend more time on what you do like. Number three, you're here at Crystal Ray. A year, are seniors here today? No, right? Where are they about to go? College graduation, right? They had graduation practice today. Think about it like this real quick. A year ago from today, a year, a year from now, you'll be at graduation practice. So I want you to think about this real quick. What do you hope to accomplish from today to a year from now? So number four, go to page number four. Why will you continue to move forward when things get hard? When things get tough, back up against the wall, you got a test that you didn't study for, or you think you may not graduate, or mom is pressing you to make sure you're here to pick up your sibling, why will you continue to move forward when things get hard? For me, I have to continue to move forward when things get hard because I know I got a bunch of students back home in the Bronx that are looking for me to be the first person to do something, to show them, hey, you can do this too, I did it. Victor E. Franco found three things to keep him pushing during his time at concentration camp. First one was a person, his wife. He knew if he could bear all of these traumas that's going on in the concentration camps, hopefully one day he'll be able to get back together with his wife and rekindle that love. So that's why he had a why to live for. His purpose, remember he was a, a psychiatrist and a philosopher. His life's teachings was in a manuscript. So he basically wrote something very small to this and he had it on him. When people went to the Holocaust, they were stripped of their garments, stripped of everything to make them really feel naked, that they didn't have anything. They took the manuscript. So what he was hoping for when he got out, he was gonna finish that manuscript and fulfill his life's teachings. And for each one of you, when you start to think about that, life is only gonna get harder. So what are you looking forward to? What is your why? Is it the parent? Is it your social responsibility as a student? Do you owe it to yourself? Start to think about those things now. We out here trying to see what's in our imagination. If you can't see it in your mind, more than likely it's not gonna happen, that's okay. But the things you can, and your intuition and your gut feels like, yo, you can get this? Write that down. It doesn't just have to be about school. Do you hope to get a doctorate degree? Do you hope to do volunteer service one year? Do you hope to live abroad for a year? 
Do you hope to move into a big house with your family? Do you hope to buy your mom a car? Do you hope to buy your own car? What do those goals look like? People often say people like us have limits on them. Oftentimes those limits are self-imposed because we're setting it on ourselves. But each one of you have to be aware. If you can imagine it, you can get it. So make sure you list all your goals. Before you leave, page, numbers, page number one in your book is my why. Please hold on packing up, is my why. Each one of you will develop this on your own. Don't do it here. You won't do it today. You'll probably do it over this summer. Develop your why so you can see a year from now how much growth you've had. My time is up. If you want to stay in contact, my Instagram is on the bottom. And if you want anything from Mount St. Vincent, you can come over, okay? Thank you, guys.